It's tempting when we go to a new church, and particularly if it's a small church and you're the lone pastor, it's, it's very tempting, at, well, frankly, even in a church plant, to bring your wife along and say, okay, honey, we need someone to take care of the children, and we need someone to play the piano, and we need someone to do all these things, and, and all of a sudden you have your wife and your kids, and they're all you know, unpaid staff of the church. And so I think it's helpful for us to communicate uh, to the church, first of all, that they hired us, they called us, that it's not a two-for-one sale, that um, our wives are church members. And my wife's first and primary role is to be my helper and to care for me, to encourage me, and also to, to help us in the care. Together, we're caring for our children. And so as we parent our children, as we shepherd our children, that's our primary focus. And then beyond that, the expectations that, that I have of her, she should have of herself, and the church should have is that just like any other church member, that's what you can expect of my wife. And that's something that needs to be communicated, communicated regularly. Uh, one of the things I find is you can never say the same things too many times. And as pastors, I would encourage us to, to say that over and over and over again. Remind uh, when you hire staff, remind them of these things, remind the wives of these things, remind the church of these things, remind the elders of these things. When you have members meetings or however you, you've structured your church, constantly remind people of what expectations we have for every single church member. In our context, we have a church covenant that we recite every time we have a members meeting. That's what we expect of every member. That's what we expect of every elder. That's what I expect of my wife and um, just to be faithful church members.